Hi guys, what's up? Uh, not a lot going on. I actually, round of applause, people. Look at this. I got my laundry done. Yay. I haven't folded it yet, but at least I got it done. That is a step in the right direction. Um, not a lot going on here right now. Uh, I'm waiting for Pond to get home. I don't remember why. There was something I needed to talk to her about, and I don't remember what it was now, and it's really gonna bug me that I don't remember. Um, anyway, I did a uh, really, really relaxing thing today. I took a long, hot bath with some uh, lavender and peppermint essential oil. I lit a, my candelabra over here. I lit that and put on some uh, really relaxing music, and it did like it made me feel super relaxed and I'm so excited about that um, I'm also trying to uh, drink more tea I've got an abundance of tea you guys like you don't even know there's like five boxes of tea in my cabinet so I'm trying to drink more tea get get rid of that before I buy new I have a tea addiction but it's okay it's better than some other addictions I could have um, I also bought a bunch of water flavors like you know the little uh, I buy the liquid ones because they mix up better, but they also come in the little packets, um, like crystal light, that kind of thing. Um, I bought some of those because I'm also trying to drink more water, and because sometimes I just don't really care for the taste of water. So, I've been trying to do that. Um, it's been working, well, I actually haven't started yet, but I'm going to start that uh, as soon as I'm done with the uh, box of soft drinks that I have. I'm not going to buy any more. I'm going to just keep making tea and all that. I say that. We'll see how long it lasts. I don't, I don't know. I will try my best, but we'll see. Uh, I'm trying to do things to um, better the environment. Um, cut down on my own pollution. Um, I can't really do that much about anyone else. Um, I will offer them suggestions if they want them, but there's really, I can't force someone to do something. Um, I'm also making my own toothpaste, um, I haven't actually set out to do that yet, I've got to use up what I already had, again, I'm not going to waste it, I'm going to finish up what I have and do that, um, so it's going to be a new, uh, new adventure for me, I'll update you guys on how that goes, and still waiting for Ryan to come home, and I'm super sad, um, it's been really weird, um, sleeping by myself and without him sitting over in his chair. I know, look, it's empty, you guys. There's no one there. And it's been really weird trying to sleep without someone snoring. As weird as that sounds. I've gotten so used to that that I it's really weird trying to sleep without it. Um, but he'll be back tomorrow. So yay, I'm super excited to see him. I've, we've been uh, we've been texting the whole time. He's called me. We I've sent him videos, uh, pictures, all that kind of fun stuff. Like, I sent him one that I was sticking my tongue out and I called him a dork. And things like that. You know, nothing, nothing X-rated or anything like that. Like, I wouldn't even know how to start with that. Um, that's not really my thing. Never has been. Uh, I mean, if you do that, that's awesome that you have that kind of, the confidence to do that. I, myself, do not. Um, I wish I did if nothing else, so that I could say I had the confidence. But, um, but that's not really my thing. Um, kudos to all of you that are able to do that. I am not one of those people. Um, I watched a very interesting movie today. It's actually still up on my Hulu. Can't really see it from here, but it is called White Bird in a Blizzard. And it stars Shailene Woodley. If you don't know who she is, if you have seen the Divergent film series, or The Fault Within Our Stars, um, what else is something she's been, uh, Secret Life of the American Teenager, which she was fairly, you know, she was younger then. I'm not going to say she was young, but she was younger then. Um, I really like her. She is a really good actress, um, and she seems really cool. Like, I'd love to hang out with her. She seems awesome, but... The, it was a very interesting movie. The whole movie, I was trying to figure out, you know, what was happening. And then the end, I thought I had it figured out, but I wasn't sure how. 
And then when it explained the how part of it, I was, I was surprised. It was a good movie. Um, wasn't what I expected it to be. So that, that's always fun when you find a movie that you expect to be kind of not very good. Like you don't expect a lot from it. You don't have high expectations. And then it turns out to completely surpass them. Um, uh, gonna get all lazy here. I'm dead now. This is my dead face. Okay, I'm done. I'm not dead. Okay. <laughs> um, today is, um, it's both a good and bad day. Um, for the same reason. Today is Christina Grimmie's 24th birthday. Or what would have been Christina Grimmie's 24th birthday. Um, if you don't know who Christina Grimmie is... Um, I don't know what rock you've been living under, um, but <laughs> she was a huge, huge YouTube star, and she also competed on the singing competition, The Voice. She recorded a bunch of albums. She was so amazing. She was super nice. Um, I met her when we both auditioned for The Voice. I didn't realize who she was at the time that I met her. Like, I just thought she was another girl auditioning for the show, which she was. But then when I found out what her name was, and she was like, oh, I've got this YouTube channel. You know, it, you know, it's really fun. You should check it out. And I did. And then, you know, I had to drop out of the competition for, you know, personal reasons. And um, when I finally saw her on there, I was like, hey, I know that girl. And I was so, so super proud of her because she earned every bit of the recognition she got. She was amazing and one of the nicest people I've ever met. Um, she was killed two years ago. Well, almost two years ago. It'll be two years in June. Um, by a obsessed stalker fan that... Um, he found out she was seeing someone, you know, she was in a relationship, found out she had a boyfriend, and he freaked out and shot her while she was signing autographs at a show in Orlando. And it was a huge, huge tragedy. We didn't think that she was going to make it. We, we were hoping that she was going to pull through, but we didn't really have very high hopes. And unfortunately, she passed away, but... Um, and then that same week, either I think it was the day before that the Orlando shootings happened at the at Pulse. It was either the day before or the day after, but I think it was the day before. And um, so anyway, today is her birthday, and there's been you know they had a big big foundation get together either Saturday or yesterday. I think it was yet it was Saturday, and they raised a ton of money. It was awesome. And I wish I could have gone, but it was in New Jersey, and I didn't find out about it until it was too late. And what the heck did I just do to my hair? Like, I don't even know. Okay, note to self. That will cause that. <laughs> Alright, that was an experiment. That happened. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because Pond should be home in mm, a few minutes. So I will see you guys tomorrow, and I love you guys so, so much. You guys are amazing, and I love you guys. You guys are awesome.